anointing and mission. The Chrism Chrism Mass gives us a unique opportunity to take a look at our calling as priests. We have been anointed by God's grace and the Holy Spirit at our ordination. And there is a mission, therefore, that is imposed upon us because of our anointing that we have received. And the mission, of course, is none other than Christ's mission itself. We look to Christ for our meaning and our purpose. And we just heard today in these scripture readings twice read in this Liturgy of the Word what he has to say about himself. So you're about to hear it a third time. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me, he says, to proclaim good news by healing the brokenhearted, proclaiming liberty to captives and release to prisoners, and by comforting all who mourn. So those words stand as a a guiding light for our ministry. His words help to bring everything into focus for us because his mission is our priestly mission. And uh, this merits our attention, especially at the Chrism Mass. And that's why the passage during the Chrism Mass is read at least two times to drive home the point, what is our mission? We look to Jesus Christ and his mission. And even the, uh, the blessing of the oils and the consecration of the Chrism will also look to this mission that we are anointed to perform, to heal the wounds of human hearts. And how many human hearts are wounded? In fact, we can say every human heart on the face of the earth. To proclaim liberation in the face of so many afflictions and so many evils that hold people prisoner. To console and to comfort all those who are in need of the Lord's strength. And we know, of course, how we do fulfill this mission of hope and healing because Jesus gave us the means to accomplish this through the Lord's sacraments, through the Word of God, the Gospel, which we proclaim and live, and by shepherding them with Christ's love. Our mission is given to us because of Christ and our anointing in him on the day of our ordination. The image of Christ the priest and the redeemer shines forth in his ordained priests. And we have this anointing to continue his mission. What a joy it is to serve your parishioners, young and old, and bring them Christ's love. What a joy it is to serve the sick, What a joy to serve those near death and bring them the comfort of Christ. What a joy to serve the poor and the needy. What a joy it is to be the servant of the Eucharist and the servant of the holy sacrifice of the Mass and to bring to your parishioners the bread of life. What a joy it is to serve your parishioners and shepherd them to eternal life. What a joy to be the servant of Christ and a servant of the holy and blessed triune God. During the course of the year, I had the opportunity in my visits to the parishes, of course, for confirmation and other special events, to have conversations with many of you. And I'm always inspired by the depth of your love for your parishioners. And it's always evident to me that the Lord indeed has placed his faithful servants in charge of his household. This Chrism Mass and the entire Easter Triduum are graced times to come close to the Lord and to be with him. He he calls you to come near to him. After all, It was during these days that the Lord instituted the priesthood, which we have received as a gift, the upper room on Holy Thursday, as he was preparing to lay down his life 
he brought the priesthood into existence. Out of his self-giving comes life for the church for all times. And so it is to that source, the upper room with Christ at the Last Supper, that we must go always to confirm our priestly identity, to confirm our priestly vocation and our mission as his priest, to draw our priestly life from Christ the High Priest himself as he is laying down his life in love for our salvation. In this Mass, we renew our promises to be faithful to all that Christ has bestowed upon us, our priestly anointing, our priestly identity, our priestly vocation, and our priestly mission, deeply rooted in the anointing and the mission of Christ himself. <clears throat> 